Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly and we're going to be doing another project. And yes, it's going to be primitive. If you haven't guessed already, if you've seen some of my other videos, my favorite to do is primitive items. I've always loved to do that. I've always been attracted to the primitive decor and things like that. If you look at my Pinterest, full of it. But I also love farmhouse rustic you know, all the other stuff too. I like it. Um, and I dabble in a little bit of all of it, but my really favorite favorite is primitive. So I have a project that I started a while ago. This is a, I think it's a bed post from a uh, bed frame, but here's the post. Uh, it had some dowel holes and things like that, so I cut those off uh, and filled them in with um, putty wood stuff. Get it in there and fill those holes in so you don't see them. You probably won't see them with what I'm going to do, but you might. So that's why I did it this way. Um, I put a base on it. These are just two pine boards. Cut them down. To what I wanted so that it would be sturdy enough to stand up on its own. So I'm going to be using the Waverly uh, Antique Wax and I mixed it with a little bit of water in my little solo cup. It's probably about one part antique wax, two parts water. Um, and I just want to give the base a little bit more uh, color to it so when I sand it down which I am going to distress it I want to have some of that darker come through as well and then once I sand it I may end up going down to the bare wood and what I can do is take that and go over the bare wood spots and make them a little darker I can do that on any of this um, so I mixed up just a little bit more I think than what I'll need so that I can um, use it later if I need to all right there's my antique wax watered down, and here's my rag. Let's see how well this comes out. Oh yeah. Okay, hopefully the light's good enough so you can see I've distressed it. Look at that awesome color coming through. It looks like it's worn from, you know, if it was uh, one of those posts at the end of a stairwell or the top where people would grab it all the time and it's just worn down from that. And as we go down, hopefully you can see right there, there's bubbling, crackling, going on from putting that sealant on. I love it when it does that. There we go. Oh my gosh, the colors coming out of that is awesome. It's a little bit more crackling there. Just wear, wear and tear. That's awesome, I'm excited about that. I really like how that came out. I was gonna try and put this tea light in here, it fits. But normally, the big lanterns, you can take the insides out and put these in, or even put in a, um, a stick light. But um, these small ones, you can't take the insides out. 
So I'm going to improvise and use some of these. And this way the battery will be on the outside and you'll be able to change it, turn it on and off if you want. These are timers. I always try to buy timer lights if I can. Um, I don't always remember to go around, turn them on, turn them off, but the timer lights you can. And as they die out, you can just replace the battery. Um, so we're not gonna do these cute little tea lights. So what I'm thinking about doing is, um, I'm trying to figure out if I wanna go up through or down through. So you gotta lift this up and that releases your globe, which I don't want really to come out, but I do wanna release it a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna go down through and put, I don't know, a few of the little fairy lights in there. Probably three would be fine. Oops, that one came out the bottom. Get in there, guy. Okay. Now let's see if I can get this to close down. I may need a few more in there. They do have holes in the chimney part that you could probably fit these little fairy lights into. Um, there, it's your preference, however many you wanna put in there. I just want it to light up nice. And I guess what I'll do is have this uh, wrap down around the post. And so the whole thing will be lit right up. There, I like that better. It's more full. And we'll have that come down to, come down the back. And um, we can go down around the post and light up some of the pit berries that we're gonna put on there. So, so I went to a place called the Willows um, Flea Market, not far from here. Um, it's a great place. I wanted to do some videoing to show you some of the stuff that they had. What they have are different vendors with booths there that you can walk through. I mean, there's three floors, plus they have a bit, they had built another uh, building off to the side that's full of uh, more booths. So they're all different vendors. And the place is awesome, it's huge. And I want to do some videoing, but it was packed. It was on the weekend, and I'm going to have to go during the week sometime so that I can give you guys a glimpse of what's going on in there. I mean, it would be hours and hours video, um, but I can kind of touch on some of the, the places. And for my primitive, loving uh, viewers, they have several um, booths with the primitive decor and of course I found myself in those spots more often. Um, I thought they were awesome. So, all right, so I'm gonna go with just one. I didn't realize it was two put together. So what I was getting at, I guess, was I got this there um, and I didn't realize it was two put together. And you could leave the two together and make it fuller. Um, I think, I wanna say, the tag was missing when I brought it home, so I can't remember what I paid for it. I want to say I paid $8. It may have been 10 for the two put together, but I didn't realize it was two at the time. I thought it was just one full one. And I thought, well, that's a great deal, but I didn't realize I had two, so that's even better deal. So what I'm gonna do is wrap this around the top and secure it. Now I do have my staple gun here because I probably will need it. And I'm just going to, I might not need it, but just in case. So I'm just making sure the berries are on the, you know, out away from the post so that if I decide I'm going to do anything with them as far as twirling them, which I think I may, I'm not sure. And I like that this is wired because you can do what you need to 
with it. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Okay. And I just kind of pull it tight around the back. Hopefully you can see that. Pull it tight. Might be glad that I have that other one because I may extend it because I want it to go down around the base as well. So I'm going to do... You could just stay with this and just work with these and bend them around so that they all covered and looked pretty cool like that. You could do that. And that looks fine. That looks fine the way it is, just like that. Um, I feel like that's kind of fell down a little bit. And then you put in, you can put in staples wherever you feel the need. Like this one doesn't want to stay up, so you could put in a staple here. So that you can get them spaced out the way you want them. So you could just keep tweaking and maneuvering these wires around and leave it just like that. I was going to take and and I suppose you could do it with just some and make it look fuller, but I was going to take and twirl them like I do because it does make it look fuller if you do that. And you could just do it with a few. It doesn't have to be that one. I did not twirl very good. Let's see. It's better if you do it that way. There we go. And then you can just bend it around. And they don't all have to be twirled, but it gives it... It um, gives it a fullness. Oh, see, so you can do a little mix, a little mixture. I don't know if you can see how that, from this to this, how it just pops it up a little bit, gives it a little dimension. And we also could probably wrap our fairy lights around. You wanna find your front, whichever you want your front to be. Your little lantern, and then this can come right up the back and wrap it around and around. And around. And I have just enough. Wow, perfect. And then I just take the, the little battery pack and I just set it in the back. You could, I don't know, you could Velcro it in there or I just hide it in there. It's gonna be in like a corner. And again, if you wanted more pit berries somewhere, you can always add some more. Just make sure you have enough. Like I have this whole thing here pieces of material. My favorite is the smaller squares, which would look really good. And then I have this one as well. And I cut a piece off of this one. Um, so I thought I would use it. And what I want to do is wrap it around up here. See if I can do this without being in front of it. I'm just kind of tying it. I do a double. You could do a bow if you want. I'm not super huge into bows in my primitive stuff. But cut it at an angle. One way or another. There we go. And hopefully that looks good. And do that. And so there is my beautiful primitive post with my lantern. You could have your, um, could turn it around, I guess. You could have your handle, because I already put the wires in. You could have your handle in the front if you wanted to. That would add some.
coolness to it. But there. Let's see how it looks in its Hey guys, have you heard about the giveaway on this chicken right here? Go down to this video, watch the video, do all the instructions, and you could win once we hit 300 subscribers. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.